about it. So, Demp, uh, we know the best is yet to come, but we can't look forward until we look back. So, are you ready to hand out some awards, my man? Let's give some hardware out. Let's uh, do All it. right. That is what it's all about. You like to hoist that hardware at year's end. So, let's start with the best youngster of all the bunch, Rookie of the Year. Who are you going with? I think I know yeah. which way you're going. Yeah, Simo. Christopher Morell. I mean, this mm -hmm. kid this year, um, you know, he bursts on the scene. We saw what he did his first plate appearance, the gigantic home run. Uh, look at his numbers. 16 home runs, 47 RBIs, 10 stolen bases, a 740 OPS. And by the way, playing five different positions, yeah. moving all around the place. Um, a little bit tired down the stretch, a little bit of fatigue sets in. That happens to the young guys. But all in all, what a great rookie season for him. If it wasn't for Michael Harris the second, I think he'd be battling his teammate for Rookie of the Year. No doubt about it. You see right there, he was an extra base hit machine. And the fact that he and Seiya Suzuki, neck and neck, that gives you a whole lot of promise as you look towards 2023. Another thing for promising uh, situations, well, it has to be a reliever of the year. And uh, also a youngster, because I know which way you're going here. Yeah, and also another rookie. I was like, this kid shows up. Family in the stands, goes out there in his Major League debut, Shoves. punches out the first four guys he faces. Brandon Hughes, man, and what a tool out of the bullpen yep. for David Ross to be able to point out there facing righties, lefties. It didn't matter. Lefties didn't stand a chance. This slider that he has, the command of the fastball. Filth. Yeah, he was so good. 57 games out of the bullpen, a 3.12 ERA, 68 strikeouts, a whip of 1.09, and eight saves. So what a great year for Brandon Hughes. You know, to kind of burst on the scene, nobody really knew what was happening with him. Here he shows up, and he did nothing but throw strikes and get dudes out, man. A great year, Brandon. Congratulations. You are our reliever of the year. That's right. And uh, you know those converted position players, uh, they're doing whatever they can to get out there on the field. And Brandon Hughes, every time we see him toe that slab, it is that whatever it takes mentality. No doubt about that. Now, Hughesy, not a position player. There's no doubt about that. So when it comes to handing out that hardware, who's getting it? Yeah, this was tough because there was a lot of guys who deserved it. But at the end of the day, I look at guys who show up every day to play, and this guy was in left field in the starting lineup every day. I mean, Ian Happ, first-time All-Star. Mm -hmm. The Quiet Storm went out there and did it, man. His He went out and backed it up, not just offensively. We saw what he did with that, the 17 home mm. runs, 271 average, 72 RBIs. He stole nine bases, an OPS almost near 800. He, the way he played defense, the way he carried himself as a leader. If he could play in Cincinnati every day, he might hit a <laughs> thousand with 500 home runs. We know how much he loves hitting there, but look at wins above replacements from left fielders. He should win the gold glove. I hope yes. he does. He was the best position player all season long for the Cubs. You know, the best ability is availability, yep. and that's he had that. He was just spectacular this season. Yeah, he was able to settle in in left field because he had that peace of mind every day. I know where and I'm going to be. And from the right be. side, yeah, too, no man. Doubt. Right and left, it didn't matter. I think just the ability to play every day was just so nice. David Ross saying, I don't, I'm don't, i not platooning with anybody. You're going to go out there and you play every day. Happer had a great year. Yeah, his ability to make his weakness, his strength, mm -hmm. well, it really shined this season, and we're looking to see what he's going to bring next season in 2023. But uh, last but not least, we need to know that pitcher – of the year overall who gets it yeah and, and there was some good candidates and we can't a knock a lot of you know adrian sampson what he did down the stretch he was phenomenal uh the bullpen a lot of guys threw the ball well stroh started to show the reason why he that got that big piece. contract come on but at the end of the day what i saw out of keegan thompson this year was special Point. man and you know to go from your rookie year and then your sophomore season a lot of times guys will take a step back in my eyes, he took two giant leaps forward. Mm. We saw him out of the starting rotation early on. If it wasn't for those back-to-back -back starts in Baltimore and New York, he might have made the all-star team. I mean, this guy was carving. And then now that big inning workload with a shortened spring training, they had to manage that. So what they do, they stick him in the bullpen. Oh, and dominated. A 1-4-7. Yeah. Look at the whip. He just went after guys. He was a huge piece down the stretch, a guy that David Ross would come in and let him finish up games, whether that was two innings, three innings. So a tremendous year out of Keegan, 115 innings pitched, 108 strikeouts, only 103 uh, hits given up. And, you know, what he did as a reliever and the flexibility he gave, the, you know, the coaches and gave David to be able to manage um, his innings and then also win ball games down the stretch. He was a huge part of that. Ten and five, man. That's something. You win 10 games your second year in the big leagues. I know wins and losses have changed and the way we view them has changed, but as a guy that goes out there and posts like he did, you know, this is something to build off of and see himself in the rotation for next year and all the years to come. Yeah, double-digit wins from yeah. Keegan Thompson. Promising sign uh, as it goes for not just Keegan, but for the entire Cubs pitching staff, relievers, starters, the position players, and as well for David Ross. 2022, it was a fun-filled campaign, no doubt about it, but 2023, it'll be better. We'll see you in Arizona, but until then, let's run it back.